we are live. Welcome to Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called The Believer. As usual, spoilers. I'm not sure we've seen a Star Wars prison colony before outside of, like, EU stuff, but it does make a lot of sense that they would have them. Bill Burr gets his instructions and is slow to follow them. The Cara Dune, so the robot is like, please lower your weapon. You have 30 seconds to comply. I thought you were this other guy. Funny you should mention that. I like that Cara Dune refers to the child as Mando's kid. Let's just say they might recognize my face. That's the thing with cloning. Badass Cara Dune takes out the troopers inside the truck. Mando dresses up in uniform, good thinking, won't have to show his face, although later in the episode he does end up... And I appreciate, you know, because he wants the child to be safe. I'm taking this thing off. I can't see anything. I mean, that has to be a reference to Mark Hamill saying that same thing about a regular Stormtrooper helmet when he didn't realize they were recording audio in episode 4, right? And then Lucas used it because he thought it was funny. I'm just a realist. A survivor, that's all. You keep poking Mando about his planet and people, and you're not going to be surviving for very long. Mando shoots the pirate with the thermal detonator, so the detonator blows up the pirate vehicle instead. Love it. And Mando's blaster runs out. I like that they put him in a situation where he doesn't have his gadgets or armor. And we see just how frail his armor is compared to his usual when one of them hits the arm coverings and takes chunks off. Excellent choreography, cinematography, and editing on the action on and around the truck. And I quite like we get this shot where the camera moves, establishing where everyone is in relation to each other. And the third build detonator explodes so close to Mando, he gets knocked by, back by the blast. I can't help but wonder if this entire bit is inspired by the truck chase at the end of the first Universal Soldier movie. Definitely has that vibe to it. And we see a bunch of pirates, I think there's like eight, maybe more, all charged thermal detonators at once. So we know that it's not going to, you know, Mando can't keep using the same tactic that he has been. Very cool. And at the very last second, some TIE Fighters and Stormtroopers help. And once they're in the... Once they're inside, Mayfield is worried that it's not going to work if he goes into the officer mess hall. So at first, Mando does it himself. Great tension during the facial scan. And Mayfield comes in to rescue Mando from the questioning of the officer right after the facial scan. Let's go fill out those TPS reports. Ah, yeah. It's just that we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports before they go out now. So if you could go and try to remember to do that from now on, that'd be great. All right. And they sit down to get a drink, and Mayfeld continues to, like, play the role and, and protect Mando. And then he starts talking about Operation Cinder, and clearly... He is not okay with what they did. You know, we come, we come to kind of realize this is why he's so harsh and, like, you know, he comes across as this really uncaring person. But it's basically because he trusted in, you know, he he thought he was doing the right thing and then, you know, yeah, his these military officers order him to kill these people, you know. So, yeah, he, he's been carrying around that pain, so he doesn't let down his guard. He thinks that that way he won't, you know, it, it won't hurt anymore. He doesn't want to get to liking someone or trusting someone because he's afraid that he'll end up in, you know, that kind of situation again. And Mayfield shoots the officer. And they shoot the other people in the mess hall. I really love that at first the others are slow to react. Like, they can't really believe that just happened. Someone inside the officer's mess hall shot an officer point blank. Like, that is not supposed to be able to happen. You did what you had to do. I never saw your face. Great character moment. 
and they kick out the windows and have to carefully walk on the outside. Very cool, very tense. And the two snipers cover Mando and Mayfeld. The Mandalorian main theme plays very cool. And Mayfeld shoots the Rhydonium, causing a huge explosion. Smile, you son of a... We all need to sleep at night. He's not heartless. Why bring it back a character if you're not going to do something different with him? I like it. And Boba uses one of those sonic charges that Jango used when Kenobi and he went in the asteroid field. And then Boba takes them all out for ice cream. They let Mayfeld go. They're going to claim that he died in the explosion. But at first, Mayfeld is clearly worried they're going to shoot him in the back as he leaves. And Mando sends a message he's going to get the child back, similar to what Gideon said when they first met. Very cool. And the fact that the Stormtroopers are so accurate with guns against the pirates in this episode proves that it really is about plot armor, not bad aim. Of course, the episode in Season 1 that Taika Waititi did, directed disagrees with that, but yeah. And that is what I have for this episode. Yeah, really, really excited for the Season 2 finale which is the next episode, and then it will be the Book of Boba Fett. So, yeah, really, really excited to see the the finale. Loving that we're getting this much Boba Fett, that it wasn't just, you know, one episode appearance. Loving seeing his, you know, yeah, seeing the, seeing the sonic charge, I guess they're called, used again, and... Yeah, you know, the probably my favorite part was the entire fight on and around the uh, Rhydonium Ry truck, I guess it's called, with, with Mando, without his Beskar armor, without his weapons and gadgets, yeah, and, and then this chilling moment as after, you know, once they get all the way there, you have all these stormtroopers applauding them and being like, yeah, you did, oh man, that is not someone you want to impress, you know. So, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll catch you next time.